Welcome back guys to my next episode of the Leicester City career mode. Uh, I'm going to be playing two games today and deadline day. So I've got to play uh, Aston Villa in the cup and Tottenham in the league. I'll then take it to deadline day. Then at, uh, once that's done it'll be end of your video. Um, I'm going to see if I could get in. I'm going to have a look where I need to improve if I feel like I need to improve this team in anywhere. So I will get into the video now and I'll show you the squad and I'll show and then I'll show you the highlights for the game against Villa. As I did say, we got Aston Villa and then Tottenham Hotspur in the league. So let's uh, go out and I'll show you the squad that I'm going to be using to play against Villa. This is pretty much the squad I'm going to be using, apart from uh, West Morgan. I'm bringing him out and I'm bringing in. I was going to bring in Liam Moore, but he's obviously injured, so I'm just going to keep Morgan in. So that's the squad I'm going to be using for this game against Villa in the Emirates FA Cup. It's half time, and it's still nil nil. The 74th minute, and Jamie Vardy's got himself a goal. That's the goal. It's a nice shot from Jamie and it's gone in. So we're now 1 0 up against Villa. And let's try and get this win and go through to the next round. 20th minute, Villa went on all out attack trying to get a equaliser. But the Mari Grace just put it 2 0 in the 90th minute and no chance now for Villa to get back from this. The game has finished 2-0. I'm happy with that result as we're now going through in the FA Cup. I would like to get go get to Wembley, which means I need to get to the semi-finals. So I'd hope for a good run in the FA Cup. Uh, I've got transfer offers for Rolando, uh, for Jamie Vardy and Rolando Arons. Vardy will not be leaving. And I might actually end up selling the Rolando Arons. Two million to Juventus. I mean, if Juventus really want him, they can have him. To be honest, I'll just have to look at a new left mid. Well, someone who can just be there just to rotate when uh, Demario Gray is injured or very, very fatigued. Needs a bit of training. I'll have Scott report on Douglas and not getting him or Trippier because I've got Kieran Clark. Thanks, boss. I haven't played him though. So I'm just going to look for a new left mid. To go. Well, it really just depend if he's been sold. Yep, he's been sold. So I'm going to look for a new left mid now and then I'll get into the Spurs game. to face uh, Tottenham will be all Brighton, Vardy and Dyer, Panama, Kante and Rabio, Chambers, Hoffman, Hoof, Fuchs and Schmeichel is going to be in goal. As I said I'm playing against Tottenham and they are fifth. We are second and we're only three points now behind Chelsea so hopefully I can get a win and close the gap to Chelsea. Leading 1-0. Apparently it, can't, it was an own goal. I mean, can't they had the shot? And then I just want to have a look at this because apparently it's an own goal, but Conte had the shot and then he deflected back out and off Conte. So I'm just gonna have a quick look here. So it hits. Does it take a deflection off Conte? I don't know why it's given as a uh, Vormoan goal, but it has, and we're now leading one nil. It's now 2-0, uh, Adrian Rabiot has scored, I'll let you watch the goal. It's a nice struck shot from Adrian Rabiot, he's turning out to be a really decent sentiment, so I am, I, I am playing him more, and he's just proved to me why he should be played, 
for scoring a goal and making it 2-0 to Leicester City. It's half time and it's still 2-0 to Leicester City. It is now 2-1. I don't know what uh, Schmeichel was doing, but he literally just opened the goal up ready for them just to pass it in the back of the net. I didn't do anything, he just rushed out a bit and then the net was just there and open. Don't know why he went out a bit, but he did and we are now... Well, our lead has been halved and we've only got a one goal lead. I'm making three changes and bringing on Gray, Maris and Drinkwater for Albrighton, Dyer and Rabio. Drinkwater's come on and he's just had a bit of a dribble into the box and he's just gave us our two goal lead back and it's now 3-1 to Leicester. Form does get sync on it, but it's not enough, and it's now not enough, so we are now winning 3-1. It's now 4-1. Spurs have been push, pushing up a bit, trying to get something from this game, but we just counter-attacked, counter -attacked, and um, Jamie Vardy put the ball in the back of the net. I think this is now Jamie Vardy's 19th goal of the season. Have a quick look. Yeah, 19th goal for Jamie Vardy. And we are now winning 4-1. The game has now finished. It finished 4-1 to Leicester. And I'm pretty happy with that result. Uh, as long as Chelsea's drop points, I could be top of the league. The Barclays Premier League. Uh, Chelsea drew their last game and we've now uh, put the gap to only one point between us and uh, Okay, apparently now we are top. I'm sure I just checked it five seconds ago and we were second. It might have just loaded in. But Chelsea still got a game in hand so they can still go top of the league again. But we are now top of the league on deadline day. And Joshua King, this is the guy I'm trying to get to replace um, Rolando Arrows. I'm going in for him. He's from Bournemouth. He's 24 years old. I've, uh, he's got a good rating. So I'm going to try and get him to replace uh, Rolando Arrows, obviously. Um, uh, he wants 9 million, 9,000 should I say, but I want to put in, I'm just going to put in 10, uh, plus 3, I'm just going to put him in important first team player, just because he'll be behind uh, Gray. And let's have a look, we are, well we have signed him, that's good, uh, we've still got some wages left and some Transfer budget left. That's all I'm going to be doing in this transfer window. So I'm just going to simulate it down. To, well, I don't really need to do much more in this transfer window. What am I doing? So I can just simulate through the hours, see if I get any transfer offers in for the likes of probably Jamie Vardy or Riyad Mahrez, any of my top performers. So far, I think. We got an uh, email transfer offer for Jamie Vardy 3.9 from Brighton and Hove Albion. Brighton and Hove Albion. I'm going to reject that because I said I want about 6 million for him, but no one's put 6 million in for him, so I'm just gonna keep simulating through this. And before I stop, I'm just gonna show you our transfer budget, transfers this January we've got rid of Aaron's and brought in Chambers and Joshua King as the deadline day has ended so I'm just gonna do this I'll do some tra training then simulate to the next game 
and that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. There's a bit of, been a bit of gameplay and a bit of transfers in this episode. So, that's good. Manager role at Crystal Palace. Uh, an update from England. Well, let's see when this expires. Does this have an expiry date? I don't know. Hopefully it wouldn't have expired by the start of the next episode. So actually I'm going to leave it here. If you want me to accept the Crystal Palace job and turn this career mode into a Crystal Palace career mode, let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty happy here at Leicester, so I might personally I don't really want to be doing it. But Crystal Palace are bottom, so this could be that could be a challenge where I take a team halfway through a season from last place and try and keep them up. That's up to you in the comments down below if you want to see that. See a bit of a change in this career mode, but that's going to be the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.